Hello everyone from a new location, new day and new video. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how to do PR, public relations that is, without having much of a public relations experience. In my previous video, which was about the NFT marketing strategy, where I literally took you through uh, the roadmap, the plan, the strategy document that I had for Ninja Squad, which is an NFT collection. I talked about uh, my weakest side in marketing experience being public relations. And so when I was thinking about other topics for videos for the channel, I thought about sharing uh, something that I'm learning along the way, which is PR, right? So I decided to share with you my learning journey, what I'm you know, implementing and practicing and what has been successful so far and what has been less successful so far. Um, and if there is any PR professionals, PR, um, uh, PR people watching this video, maybe you can give me other tips. Maybe you can uh, share what I'm doing wrong. But for any of you who are trying to learn, this is going to be kind of my documentation of my journey. So without further ado, let's just get into what I've been doing so far. But I just wanted to call out once again, I guess, that I am not a PR expert. So my experience really lies in inbound marketing, content strategy, marketing strategy in general. So I'm going to share with you the top three things that I've done so far under the PR public relations category. This is something that I uh, have actually had on my agenda for a while. It is called Haro, uh, help a reporter out. This is a website that you can subscribe to. I don't know if it's called subscribing. I mean, it's not, it's not a paid thing at all. You just uh, sign up with your email, select the areas of interest that will align with your business, with what you want to be featured in. I get this digest feed in my inbox, which I'm going to show a couple of examples right now on the screen. And I look through the different needs that uh, reporters or journalists have submitted to this website. So I look through those uh, submissions, which are usually not more than one to two sentences. There is an email that um, I also see along with that request and I see the name of the journalist, the reporter. So anyway, if there is something that overlaps with uh, something that uh, the expertise that we can provide for that media outlet or for that journalist, then those are the ones that I select from the list and I decide to uh, you know, write an email and pitch uh, what we can share as our expertise. I remember even subscribing to Hero in the past, but I've never actively used it. So this is the actual like first time in my life that I'm actively using it. I'm actively going through those emails that I receive in my inbox every single day and pick out the ones uh, that I think my team or myself can contribute effectively and with the right expertise. Okay, you are seeing an email on the screen right now uh, that I have sent to a reporter just uh, yesterday from Fox Chicago News, uh, which is going to be a Facebook Live session. And they were specifically looking for NFT and crypto experts to go on this Facebook Live. There wasn't any specific request in terms of the expertise, but they were just looking for experts in the space. I actually didn't pitch for myself, but for uh, BCC, who is our co-founder for Ninja Squad. He is clearly the NFT expert, the NFT kind of mastermind in our group and he will be able to attend to a show if you know if we are called out obviously uh, so i just wrote only a few sentences uh pitching who he is and um whether or not he will be able to attend the show via skype which was also uh, another note in the request so this is my pitch i don't know if we're gonna hear back from andrea but this is uh one of the main tactics that i have been uh, chasing after in terms of our PR category. Number two is outside of Haro, I have been identifying journalists or bloggers that are writing uh, pieces, posts around the topics that we are interested in and that we can contribute to. I look for a couple of things before pitching or reaching out to them, such as whether or not they ever include quotes from guests or whether they do interviews with guests or if they have written about a topic, for example, that could potentially require a follow-up or that could um, need another uh, article to top it off or something along those lines. So I really look for the right context and the right 
uh, person. If our expertise is going to fit in with uh, with their style, with uh, with the format that they follow, etc. So that is the other thing that I've been doing. And then I get in contact again with a relatively brief and to the point message. You're again seeing another message on the screen, which has actually ended up being a success. Uh, so Andre Sergenko, he uh, is someone that I found to be writing on coin market caps uh, library, which is called Alexandria. Anyway, so he, I, I read a couple of his articles. Uh, they really resonated well with me. I thought we could contribute to uh, a potentially new article that he could write. I mean, I pitched something that I think could be relevant to his audience. So I wrote to him, you know, I recently read your article on coin market cap, how to truly own your NFTs. I found it very helpful and honestly, genuinely, I found it helpful. Uh, it's not just that, you know, exaggeration. So it brought another topic to mind, which is also very relevant and important these days as the market is getting more saturated with new projects, how to choose which NFT projects to invest into. If that would be interesting to you at all, I would love to provide some insights that we share within our community of NFT and crypto traders, Ninja Squad, and that have helped members become much more aware of how to review and pick projects to invest into. Hope you're having a great day, Elif. So this was my pitch and it was well received and we did end up contributing to that article with the same topic that I suggested so it wasn't like an interview it wasn't like a whole article that we wrote for uh, them but it was uh, an article where we contributed with some quotes and some tips that we would share with our community uh, so this method, the second method, I mean, identifying journalists and reaching out to them uh, in person uh, through their Twitter accounts or through their emails, this has been a method that has so far proven to be successful for me. But as I said in the beginning, I think that the key thing here is to do your research really well and to bring a solid perspective and to have a very clear pitch of what you want to contribute or how you want to be featured. All right, and finally, the third one is identifying TV programs, podcasts, and YouTube shows that, again, I think our team, myself, someone from our team could be a good guest for that show. So there have been some cases where I reached out to um, a producer of a YouTube show, which has a really big following and they are i mean the audience is really exactly the target audience that we have as well so there is a huge overlap and i really think that we could contribute uh, really well to an episode on their show so i pitched exactly that and that has also uh, been well received. So I would say that this method is also pretty relevant as well, or has been uh, pretty relevant and I mean, fairly successful so far. I think there are a couple of really important things to note, right? So number one, I mean, we already talked about it, but really, uh, try to create a genuine connection is what I'm aiming for. That is always my, I guess, top thing that I pay attention to when I'm reaching out to anyone, whether that is to be featured in their publication or whether that is to uh, just establish a connection and build a friendship. Like I really try to focus on uh, being relevant and being to the point. So those are two points already. Um, having a very clear pitch and a very clear but short message the first message i think it really needs to be clear and really to the point so that's something i really pay attention to number two is the context obviously number three is being genuine sorry this sounds like a bit of repetition number four is identifying the right people uh this is very important like to do your research really really well is what i'm really being particular about um, the the research phase has been really extensive so that I know that when I'm reaching out to these people I know that we can really be of value to their show to the final one I think that I want to suggest that I've been doing and that has been a good thing that uh, to implement is to find their contact information on the platforms where they are the most active number one but also if they are for example if they have like a million people following them they would probably not see their dms on that platform but if there is another platform that they are on where they have a smaller audience 
usually that means that they are going to be receiving relatively less number of messages on that platform. Uh, but if they're still active on that platform anyways, that is where I go to uh, reach out to them. So for a YouTube show that I reached out to, for example, I mean, just to, to top it off with a real example that, I, that has worked for me, uh, the person that I wanted to reach out to, she probably receives a lot of emails. So email wasn't the right platform to reach out to her. Uh, Twitter, she has a much bigger following. And the, I, if I remember correctly, the DMs were actually not open. So I couldn't reach out to her on Twitter. But then I went on to her Instagram and she only had like 3000 something following on Instagram. Again, if I remember correctly and her DMs were open. So that was obviously clearly to me the best platform to reach out to her and it actually did succeed. So I did receive a reply from her and that conversation is also ongoing. And so far, I think I shared six tips in general that I've been applying in any of those like three routes that I shared from the beginning of this video. Like there is no playbook in, in doing this right, but I'm just, uh, I guess, following my gut. Uh, and just trying to be a decent human that pitches, um, you know, a proper value that can be of value to their audience. So that that's like the main goal that I have in my mind. And this is my learning journey. If you have other tips for me, if you've been doing this uh, for a longer period than myself, then um, be kind and share them in the comments. I'm always, you know, happy to learn more from you as well. And yeah, I'll be documenting and sharing my journey like this with you from now on. And it won't always be like, this is what I know really well and this is how you should do things. But it will just be like, you know, this is what I'm doing. This is what has been working. This is what hasn't been working so far. So I think I like this format. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you found it valuable. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos on marketing, Web3, and future of work topics. And I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.